Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to NCX Tech. And today in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the beta release of the Ubuntu 22.10 Kinetic Kudu. And here I'm running this on my virtual machine. This version of Ubuntu features GNOME 43 desktop environment. So first, let me start with this quick settings and which is one of the main attraction of GNOME 43. So here we have different quick settings available. So first there we have screenshot and then settings and then we have power so there we have saucepan restart power of logout and then we have volume and also maybe we have the brightness option available there but since i'm on vm so it's not available here currently and there we have wide connection power mode settings balance or power saver mode and then night light and then dark mode switcher and also we have wi-fi and bluetooth options available there but since i'm on a vm these are currently unavailable but I guess we don't have any right click menu available here and on the left side there we have the same Ubuntu dock so let me go to menu so these are the different apps which are available out of the box uh, let me open terminal and let's check the kernel version so there we can see that Ubuntu 22.10 is powered by 5.19 John Rick Linux kernel although the kernel version 6.0 is on the way so let's check the RAM users in its idle state so we don't have ASTOP installed by default so let me install ASTOP So here you can see that the idle RAM uses is 838 MB and for a GNOME desktop environment it's pretty normal. So let's close this. So let me check if snaps are installed. So there you can see that 8 different snap packages are installed by default. And obviously here we have Firefox web browser is installed as a snap package and we must say that snap packages are no wonder on our Ubuntu system so let me close this so let me open settings so there we have and as we resize the width of the window we can say that it adjusts layout automatically as we reduce the width of this window to this level so menu disappears only the menu items are available here and as you click on any item from the settings it's sub menu appears and this looks really cool so let me go to appearance so from there we can choose between default or dark theme and also it can be applied from here from the quick settings and dark mode and the accent color and there we have different set of wallpapers and this looks nice and we don't have any options for the customization of the dock so i guess it's available here inside ubuntu desktop so there we have different setting options for desktop icons and the dock so from there we can customize the look and feel of the dock this default file manager nautilus is now fully adaptive and you can see that as we resize the width of the window it changes its layout automatically so there you can see as we reduce the width of this window the sidebar disappears and we can open this from here and this is really nice also from any working directory now we can open terminal so as you right click here they will have option open in terminal so that the terminal will open in the current directory 
and one good thing is that app spread feature is now available for the ubuntu dock so if you open the multiple windows of the same app uh, let's say for this nautilus file manager uh, let me open another window So we have opened three different windows of Nautilus file manager. As we click on this, we can see these different windows and we can choose between them. And I find this feature very useful. And this feature was not available since the Unity desktop. And now PipeWare is the default sound system for Ubuntu 22.10. And it is said to be less buggy than the Pulse audio and has better hardware compatibility. So guys, this was my first look at the beta release of Ubuntu 22.10 Kinetic Kudu. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please like this video and do subscribe my channel and turn on notification for more Linux videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.